Uh, my name is Lakeisha Benjamin and I play the alto saxophone. I have an upcoming CD, it's my debut CD entitled Retox. And it's um, pretty much a band of like a combination between traditional jazz, soul jazz, all the areas of jazz together. <laughs> On the CD, it's a lot of original compositions and there's one tribute to uh, Stevie Wonder. When did I participate essentially at Ellington? Um, I think that was 98 through 2000. Well, I guess I did all the years, but those are the years that I guess we had some success with it. <laughs> um, honestly, my time in the program, that was like, I feel like some of the most amazing time I had because it was like, you know, you come from these little neighborhoods and then like you get involved in Jazz and Lincoln Center and you really start to see what your career could become. It's like, they have all these mentors. Like I studied with Wes Anderson. I was taking lessons with Walter Blanding. It was just such a, like an amazing group of saxophonists to really show you how to play in a section. And I feel like you really can't be successful in jazz until you learn the tradition of the music. So studying Duke Ellington, like my school was studying Charles Mingus, it just really prepared me to um, move on. Duke Ellington was the first actual CD I ever got. My mom got me a Duke Ellington CD for Christmas. And I sat there and I learned all the trombone parts, all the trumpet parts, all the piano parts. Like, I couldn't learn the drum parts, but every possible note I could. I mean, it was the first time that I heard a jazz CD and really, like, kind of fell in love with it. I think it was a tribute to Cootie Williams. <laughs> and I really just was like, even though I didn't play the trumpet, I was trying my best to just get that kind of inflection and phrasing. He's one of my favorite composers. <laughs> Once you've actually studied the language and really have something, to, to, a foundation to build off of, at that point, I just think it's time to have fun and just do whatever your ear hears and whatever your heart tells you.